today is a very special day for me, man. Uh, and I will let you know why in a second. But man, what a day we got going on today. Welcome back to Eddie B TV. I am, of course, Eddie B. Nice to see y'all. And we are back at you again today for another reaction video. And uh, another Music Saturday. The Tunage Day has arrived with us one more time. And I'm happy to get to it, as always, every weekend. And uh, have a little bit of fun with you guys. Um, get to know some new stuff and also reminisce about some, uh, about some things to get you guys to know a little bit about me. And uh, today is going to be one of those days, man. We're going to get to a few tracks today. And uh, before we do that, I just want to talk about why today is so special to me. Today, and I had to do a whole little thing about requesting a day off, a specific day to be able to do this at all. Because, you know, my work schedule will be hectic with the time and all that. I haven't been able to see much of my Mariners games lately. But I've still been keeping uh, up with the scores and all that. And on my days off, I get to see a little something. But, uh, yeah, man, today um, I'm going to uh, Ichiro Suzuki's Mariners Hall of Fame induction game tonight. Mm. Man, oh, man, Ichiro was one of the was one of the just most awesome dudes in Major League history. Uh, and, of course, he started off his career with us for about, what was it, nine, ten years, something like that. And, unfortunately, you know, we lost him. You know, we ended up trading him of all places to the Yankees, man. Ugh, man. That gut punched me when it happened, but you know, I knew why they were doing it at the time and all that, so you know, it is what it is. But now, you know, the, he ended his career with us um, in Japan, of all places, where his last uh, major league game was played. And it was just a little, it was just an awesome thing to say. I had to get up at like 2, 3 in the morning just to watch the games, you know, because of the time difference and all that. But yeah, I'm going to that game tonight and hopefully it's going to be a fun one. I know I'm probably going to be a little, <laughs> little teary eyed maybe or something, but overall I'm just going to be cheering and uh, for him and hopefully my boys are going to win tonight. You know what I mean? That's the thing I'm hoping for. So yeah, that's what's going on tonight. But for now, we got business to handle here. And for round one of this Music Saturday, we're going to get into someone that I have not gotten to before. In fact, all three people that I'm going to be getting to today I haven't gotten to before and we're going to start with Eugene Wilde today okay well um interesting story behind this selection that I got today and um from Eugene Wilde we're going to get into a song from him titled gotta get you home tonight official video <laughs> now this one uh this one was from 1984 and believe it or not this is how ignorant I was, man. See, for the longest time, I never even knew what sampling was. You know what I mean? Like, I used to, like, listen to my favorite songs growing up. And uh, a, lo a lot of the songs that I liked, I didn't even realize that they were samples, uh, the, um, their beats or something, or maybe even the, the lyrics in them were, like, samples of another song from back in the day. I had no clue because that's how absent-minded I was. And I know some of y'all are going to be uh, looking at me like, the hell's up with this dude? What was he hiding under a rock? Yeah, most likely. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, this song here was actually the inspiration behind uh, when I was with Eyes on the Prize. It was the inspiration behind the song that I ended up making called um, Hold On To. And uh, if you guys want to go on their page and check out the song for yourselves, be my guest, go ahead. It was one of the um, one of the major bright spots of me being a part of that whole thing. And I was glad I was able to do it, you know, pay homage to the song. You know, not only that, when uh, the remake from uh, Foxy Brown and Black Street, when they did Gotta Get You Home Tonight and all that too. So yeah, man, we're going to get into this one and uh, hopefully we're going to have a good time with it. Uh, have a good time with it. So let's go ahead and do it. Eugene Wilde with Gotta Get You Home Tonight, official video. And if you like this reaction, please put on the like button for me one time. Subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and uh, leave a nice comment for your boy. Constructive critiques, leave a nice suggestion or request, and uh, throw a couple zingers at your boy. Friendly dialogue, no drama here, all right? No, don't want to hear it. So, uh, yeah, man. Oh, man, I'm sitting there. Still got all these bugs crawling all over my equipment and all this. Uh, I hate that so much hate this room that I do this in, but hey, it's only temporary. <laughs> so yeah, man, um, got something that's very dear to me with my Mariners going on tonight, so I'm happy about that. And I'm also to get my reminiscing on today with this uh, Music Saturday that we, got, uh, that we got going on. So no more talk, let's go ahead and get into it. Eugene Wilde with Gotta Get You Home Tonight, official video, right here on Eddie B TV, round one of this Music Saturday. Let's get to it. I think we just might be. <sighs> All 
All right, let's get situated with this one. And here we go. I've never seen this music video, by the way. Just saying. That's what I'm talking about, man. Yes. Oh, man. Yo, it was trippy, man. Just the whole time that um, that I was uh, trying to get the song Hold On To done, I didn't even realize there was a music video to that song. So when I found it, I was like, you know what, man? Got a little story to tell. Why not get to it? So yes, I'm glad I was finally able to. All right, y'all. That was Eugene Wilde with uh, Gotta Get You Home Tonight official video. Mm. Well... Not gonna lie, the first version, you know, of this one that I heard was Foxy Brown and Black Streets, you know, and um, 
I just really, I just really overall love the sound of this song, man. It's like really smooth, uh, uh, really uh, relaxed, but then at the same time, very upbeat with its sounds and all that. You know, it really, it really intrigued me from a young age. And I never even realized this um, this song existed because, like I said, I didn't know what sampling was. I didn't know anything about music. Because, like me, um, my interests in things and things I came across, man, they came across in a very odd order. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, I, I've tried to let you guys know that a little bit throughout the Music Saturdays that I'm not fluent in how to dissect lyrics and I'm not familiar and all that. One of the reasons why I don't partake in music anymore in that way is not because necessarily I didn't like being with eyes on the prize or not because, you know, there was like any major, major issues, you know, except with just one person, but that's its own issue. It's not really worth talking about. But man, I just don't know anything about music, you know? I don't know how to read music. I don't have a, a singing voice that's finely tuned, you know what I mean? I don't have any formal voice training. I just don't have what it took. I didn't have what it took, you know, to keep it going, you know, for a longer amount of time. But I stuck to the commitment that I had for, uh, that I had while I could. And then when it was time to, you know, step away, I stepped away. So that's all there was to that, but you know, the inspiration for Hold On To is because I wanted to uh, do something, do a remake of a song that I liked, you know, so when I finally found that this one existed, I knew for sure that I had to do one for myself, and that's what Hold On To was, so if you want to go on Eyes on the Prize's YouTube page and, uh, and check that out, be my guest, check it out, man, and I hope you guys like what you hear. Um, I don't really like to talk about my music time so much anymore, it's just because, you know, it's something that I want to put in the past and focus on my future and things that I could be getting into otherwise and uh, that's why we're here today with the channel and I also wanted to pay respects to my sister you know and uh, do this whole thing you know and put all my focus into this so um the song in and of itself man really had me just kind of like oh, okay you know it's just like like a little suave dude you know what I mean just letting um letting his woman know what it is that he was feeling for her and what he wanted to do and all that stuff it's just like I think that men used to be a little bit more suave back in the day you know these days, not so much. It's not about really just trying to like uh, necessarily court a woman with your words and then your actions followed by that and all that stuff. It's just, it's just a different game, you know? I mean, I used to be in my feelings and wanting to diss things in the in the modern era, but you know, now I'm just like, hey, I just live and let live. And if, if it works out, it works out. If not, then, you know, I got my own business to handle and I'm in my own world. So as long as I'm handling my own business, that's the only thing that really matters to me. But um, from the first time I heard this song, man, I was really just kind of like, wow, this is, this is amazing. You know, I just couldn't believe that I've missed out on so much and how oblivious I am to what has been in the past, you know. So I have to get, and plus, you know, that also factored into my decision making too about not doing music. Is just like, if I don't even realize something as simple as this, then I need to really, re <laughs> I need to reevaluate myself in so many different ways. But yeah, man, I know I've gotten a lot of um, requests to, you know, dive into the past and all that. You know, Miss Linda has asked me countless times to do a music video from my time there. And I just, personally, I just can't do it. It's nothing really all that personal except, you know, for me, obviously. But, you know, it's nothing against anyone else. It's just my own shit, you know. So that's why I got to say it like that. But a very good song from Eugene Wilde, man. Um, I was glad I was able to find the video, actually. Um, I just found the song, and like when I was still doing the music, and I was like, whoa, seriously? I can't believe this even exists. And then it went on from there. But very good song from Eugene Wilde. I've always been a fan of this melody, you know, and all that stuff from the Foxy and Blackstreet version. But you know what? When I finally found it, I had to just do something with it, and I'm glad I was able to make my song. And be proud of that, you know? So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll cut it off right there. One more time, Eugene Wilde with Gotta Get You Home Tonight, official video. And if you like that reaction, please put it on the like button for me one more time. Subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and of course, as always, leave a nice comment for your boy. Constructive critiques, leave a nice suggestion or request, and uh, throw a couple zingers at your boy. Friendly dialogue, no drama here, all right? Like I said before. So recognize that when I say it. <laughs> so yeah, this is gonna be Eddie BTV signing off one more again here. Um, round one in the books, man, a great song and a great music video too, you know? And this one, it kind of seemed like, you know, the lady off to the side was kind of like looking at him like, you 
checking all these other females. What about me, sucker? You know, and all this stuff. But at the end, you know, she just walked up on him, just be like, hey, I'm here now. Come take me home tonight. <laughs> it was just an awesome song. And I actually love the video too, man. A lot of beautiful looking women in there showing off their dance moves and all that good stuff. Hey, can't argue with that, you know what I'm saying? I may be a male, but I'm still a male. You understand me? So, yeah, thank y'all for tuning in one more time to this one, man. I had a lot of fun uh, getting to it. We got two more tracks to go that mean something to me. And, uh, yeah, they got stories behind them. I'll decide if I want to let a few things out if I want. But uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get there, you know. Yeah, I'm always walking on bridges for some reason. Yeah, I don't know, man. Is there a significance to that? There could be. Yeah, but that's for another day. All right, until next reaction, love and appreciate y'all. Peace.